Hey everyone, this is live from QNAP headquarters in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm today's host. My name is Joyce, and today I'm very glad to welcome our product manager for video station and QVideo, Bennett, over here with us. Hello, everyone. I am product manager. My name is Bennett. Yeah. And today we are going to talk about video station and its mobile app, QVideo. And video station is a man management tool for video files. Yes. And you can classify your videos in your professional um, personal collections and share them with your friends and families. Mm -hmm. So before it starts, when it comes to managing your video files, what what kind of concerns you may have? So, yeah. so let's jump into the sites. Okay. So be before today, we start to uh, talking about this topic. Mm -hmm. I would like to share for our user. Uh, no matter you are a new coming user for the QNAP, QNAP NAS or you have already used the video station before, uh, today I will introduce you a very uh, important feature about uh, video station and QVideo and, and some relative production uh, to help you to customize your personal and home media library on your NAS. Okay. Cool. Okay, so uh, let's as, talk about concerns. Yes, uh, as Joy says, we uh, we have um, uh, maybe we have ever met a, uh, met a lot of concern before. Uh, if we want to create our personal uh, media library, mm -hmm. uh, for example, the first one, uh, the most common concern is uh, we need uh, always spend a lot of time to sort out our me uh, video library. And it spend always spend time and and sometimes it's representative it's not uh, look well, okay. So this is the first concern. Mm -hmm. And second is with a lot of the amount of the video, however, or uh, video player is not powerful to play or uh, kind of the format or codecs. So with a very uh, powerful video player is very important for our uh, video uh, for our user. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes with list a lot of the uh, amount of the video, we cannot easier to uh, find out uh, the, the the video we want. Uh, we cannot uh, with a very easy way or with a very simple, uh, quick way to accurately to find out the, the files. Right. And sometimes we also feel uh, inconvenience to share the video with our friend or family because uh, due to the sound limitation, like the volume or like the the the, the file size limitation, yeah, uh, we we have made some uh, this uh, limitation, so we feel inconvenience to share the video. And the last one is uh, we have a lot of the, the media device, for example, the Apple TV or. or Android TV and the smart TV and so on. How can we enjoy this kind of the uh, videos on uh, the, the big screen TV? Yes, it's an important issue. We need to solve it. It is in order to create your theater, yes. in order to create your own personal um, media library, video library, mm -hmm. you will need a big screen first. Yes. Uh, QNAP solve all your concern with the four major feature of the video station profile for all user. The first one is flexible category customization for better representation. So this is very important and essential feature we need to provide for our user. And the second one is we support a very powerful video player and setting for user to play all kind of the formats of video. Okay, including the 360 degree video playback. Trendy. And we have a utility, which is called a QB helper. Mm -hmm. Okay. The third feature we provide is fully compatible with all your media device. So here we'll, I will introduce how many media device we support in QNAP video station, allow you to enjoy your media on any uh, media device and as any time, uh, whenever you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last, uh, the last solution we provide for our user is we support very convenient video sharing, uh, uh, wait for our user. So you can create your own video sharing patch and sharing this video directly to the social media website or upload it 
Yes. Or are you going to tell us how we can overcome the limitations you have mentioned above? Yes. Okay. So the first one is flexible category customization for better representation. Okay. So the, the first one is we always miss a lot of uh, concern is we, we need to spend a long time to uh, arrange our video uh, to, uh, to in order to look more clear. So you can see the picture in the, uh, our slider. It's very common when if you have a, a month of the video uh, stored on your hard drive, you always look like this way. So QNAP provide a very uh, a good solution for users is we support highly uh, flexible category customization for our user to customize and sort out your, um, your, your amount of video quickly. Okay, so, so yes. So, um, I think the thing is, if you use, if you only use file station <coughs> or file, file explorer, that like kind of thing, you will mix all kinds of your files. Yes. Like music, videos, and documents, all kinds of your files are mixed and presented in one interface. Yes. But with video station, we are customized for only managing your videos. Yes, yeah, so we dis we only we designed it specially for the video management. Cool. Okay. So you can see from this uh, interface, this is our setting. When you upload your video uh, from your computer or from your camera and so on uh, to our KNAPNAS and you impose this video into our video station, mm -hmm. you will see here we support add categories uh, uh, function for user to add it. Uh, before we uh, before you use this feature in the defaults, we have already have for the movie, TV show category, or music or home uh, category. If you think this category is, is not enough for you to yeah, I think it's too general. Yeah, too general. So you can create it by yourself. For example, you want to record your kids' uh, growing uh, live video. You you record lots, so you can create a special category especially for your uh, kid yeah your kid your family and so on oh. and in here uh, especially for the movie and TV show category we support online library setting which allow user to uh, have a more a wonderful representation representation mm -hmm. yes so in here I will introduce you later more detailed information about our online library set, uh, setting. Right. So it's like we have all the information from the online. Library. Yes, we cooperate with the online data uh, company, okay. so we can get some the uh, online data resource like movie, movie name. and movie name and uh, it's uh, by who? yeah the rating, uh -huh. uh, caster, director, and so Ratings? on. Yeah, the rating. The rating is collect collect from the library online libraries. Uh, company. So when user watching, after you watching a movie, maybe you are comment or uh, writing for the, this movie. So we can, our user can get this writing and you can know this movie is, uh, is good, good, or bad. good or bad. Yes. And so on. And this in here, you, you also can select the media folder. So after you select the media folder, uh, we will uh, show you in a uh, uh, in, with a good looking uh, media library display you yeah and I think select media folders are very important so some videos are not for displays they are yeah. just for record or they are just for um, there's not for um, appreciating yeah so if you if you want to select the correct media folders you want to play, you want to display on big screens, mm -hmm. you make this function of media folders, which you can select and determine which folders you want to put into your video station. Yes. So let's, let's look at it. So in the next slide, we, we, we will, I will mention the three main feature for all movie and TV show category. The first one is recent playback. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, a good design for our user is, you know, sometimes when you watching the TV series, you maybe you will be disturbed uh, during the walking. Yeah, or, or maybe yes. you want to pee. Yeah, you want to pee. So you close the player. Yeah, you left. But when you come back, you want to watch it continuously. 
you yeah. forget where you want watch next time. So that this design help you to return play back uh, from where you left uh, last time. Okay. Good stuff. Like yeah. Netflix. Yes, like Netflix. And we also support a smart display. So uh, our system will uh, analyze the TV show's title and uh, automatically to arrange this TV show by season and episode. Uh -huh. So the, the display is work. So you will not see the, all the uh, look mess. You don't think uh, you don't see the TV show will if the TV show contain a lot of the video at the same time. Uh, it appears we, as an organized way. Yes. Cool. Yes. And the third feature we provide for our user is what we say online video information. Mm -hmm. So we cooperate with the uh, online. And online movie and TV show that are best, for example, the TMDB, IMDB, mm -hmm. uh, opens, uh, yes, TMD, IMDB, and TVDB, and so on, uh, for the TV show or movie, yes. So these databases, um, databases, does they contain different language or? Yes, we provide, yes. So I will demo, yes, to show you later. So for different country people, they can select different country. Uh, different language. Uh -huh. Okay. So here is uh, our user interface. You can see TV show display by season and episode. Uh, in our user uh, interface, we are this with uh, a smart display, and uh, we also provide a recent playback. In here, you can see just one click on the button, and you can uh, directly to watching is continuously. I thought it was just for the episode you're watching, but yes. with this function, it's more convenient for the watchers. Yes. And we also optimizing the display. Well, with the online database, you can see before it's watching like the photo view in its very uh, uh, non organizations. However, after we uh, with our optimizing display, you can see display with a wonderful uh, media Posters. library poster, and uh, yes, we show poster on this, and we also provide our online data information for each movie and TV show series. So the poster are, are also come from the database. Yes, poster including it. Ooh. Okay. So. Uh, before we provide a, uh, besides we we not just beside uh, we we not just provide a uh, category for our user to uh, organize their videos. We also provide uh, these three different feature. Uh, we also provide a private collection. So private collection is a high secure protection allow user to store their own private video. So oh. it means when you put the, your personal video into this collection, another user will uh when when watching the video on this collection. Okay, so for example, you if you have a nice sharing with your family mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of different accounts, so don't worry about your video will be watched by another guys. Okay, especially if you have kid in your home, uh -huh. this is a good feature. Yeah. Yes. It is. Maybe you record your mom doing a C-section surgery and you, <laughs> you don't want anyone to see that. Okay. So, um. <laughs> and yes, so uh, we also support the QSync. So, you know, QSync is a backup solution uh, for QNAP. So with the QSync, we, we will automatically to sync, synchronize the video with QSync service. It means when you use QSync service, you just directly to uh, maybe you put your video into the QSync service on your client's computer. Mm -hmm. uh, video session will automatically to display all this video directly. So you don't need to waste time to upload it. Ooh. Okay, so it's save time. Okay. And uh, we also support a folder viewing mode. mode. So you can quickly browse file by your folder architecture. So why we keep this folder viewing mode is because I know for some uh, user, they may be uh, like additional way to, uh, traditional way to browse their uh, videos via folder viewing. So we also keep this feature and at the same time, we also provide uh, the new style display like the 
uh, media display we show you the smart display this yeah the smart yes so for QSync, i think it's very useful for a team who mm, when, when they are when they are working on a video project together yes so they can use they can directly thing. use this feature yeah okay yeah they can sync the uh the video at some time okay so let's go to uh okay wait so uh the, the next part we we would like to talk about is uh for some our user with this amount of the uh videos mm -hmm. how can you quickly to find out your video in a massive video library it's very important so with a powerful advanced search and the field feature is important for our user yeah, so in here we provide advanced search so we support a multi criteria search such as a color label rating text and progress tracking and so on uh, this is the advanced search uh, of course we also support the uh, general search like you search for, uh, with your uh, file title search with your input data and so on feature so i have a question is it really fast to mm -hmm. search for the, the, the file you're looking for yes it, it's, it's really very quick fast. yeah it's really quick, it is important fast. like i'm using file explorer and every time i search for something i'm looking for it takes maybe a 10 minute or okay. 15 minutes and mm -hmm. it sucks Oh, we, we have facilitated facilita our uh, search engine. Great. Yes. And we also, in the movie and TV show category, we also support the filter feature. Uh -huh. So you can filter your, your video by general year, uh, year, director, and cast. Okay. So let's, uh, uh, you can see here, uh, this is the advanced search and the filter uh, user interface. Mm -hmm. uh, on the it is user, user interface, you can see you can use the advanced search feature on the uh, uh, or video station and with a lot of the uh, criteria setting you can set at same time and help you to narrow your uh, target uh, video targets. Okay, and with this we have a filter. We support four different filter feature like uh, general and the year and director and cast. Okay, so you can, for so, example, you want to see the director, uh, especially for some uh, director you want to watch it, you can directly choose the director. So the video station will show you the, the director's related video. So do these folders come from the databases or you have to create it yourself? Okay, it's, it's come from the online database. Okay. So you need to create it by yourself. Okay, so you don't worry about you need to spend enough time to maintain Make, it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's go into the live demo. So we change to our computer. So this one is a video station. So when you uh, open the video station, in here, this is the setting. So we go to the setting. So you can see here is what I say you can uh, uh, to to do your category setting here. For example, if you want, you would like to add a category here. You can create by yourself, and you just type in the category name into. And uh, especially for the movie and TV show. Here is we so also support the online data source. So you can see online data source, we support the several uh, different online data source. Mm -hmm. So user can depend on the uh, your favor. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. Okay. And uh, we also support language. Uh, Joyce just uh, asked. Yeah, I just asked about Yeah, that. you just ask about this. So for we have support different language for user to choose. And here is the media folder. So in the one category, you can add from different folder. So after you import it, all the media will display by uh, each category. So you will not see all of the folder display at the same time and you look, look uh, so messy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So after you set in here, you can see all the category will show in here. Okay. So in here, I would like to introduce you is about a movie and TV show. Uh, these two uh, special 
uh, category. We can see from here, all of the display have been organized uh, well. You can see here, and uh, in the, for example, this Skyfall, you can see the information. Uh, unlike the database, we are directly to import detect uh, our video station will automatically to detect your uh, import files uh, title mm -hmm. and to, to to search the same uh, online data from the uh, internet okay so when when i cap capture this internet so you can see all of the uh, information import inside and if you uh, found this information is wrong uh, compared with your uh, your video yeah you, what if it's wrong yeah it's wrong if you if if, if you watch this is wrong you can use the edits here and you can change it and search it manually by you uh by you want okay so for example if i use sky for and i change i, I search the english oh uh, it's the first one. Oh, first one okay this one yeah so let's see so you can see here is I use the TMDB, this online database library, and you also can change it on the setting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here I have a lot of Skyfer and you can watch which one is uh is is same with your video. Okay, okay, you, you see it. So this is all feature. And for the poster, we can change the poster. So we also uh, download the post from the online database and besides you also can upload it by yourselves. You can upload from your computer. Uh, we also support import from the URL. You also can import from the internet uh, with the poster, okay? Cool. And for the TV show uh, library, you can see the TV show here. For example, this video, you can see all displays display by the a season and episode okay so it's very clear to browsing clear to watching it okay and it is automatically be yes we also uh you know sometimes uh most of our users will download the tv show from the internet yeah and when you download it they have own their uh, tv show uh, title so the title will follow a rule so uh, if you follow the, the rule uh, for example, you have the uh, uh, season and the, the for example, you have a season and episode in your type in your uh, file titles. We can detect it and display it by our video station. Okay. But so you if don't, you're not, if not, you have to change it. So okay. you can change it here. Uh, no, we, 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 if we want to, want to change it, we need to change the title first, uh -huh. but in the next version, we will uh, support the change is manually Ooh. so you can directly to change it uh let's we collect from all users feedback and we will do this feature uh in the tv show cat category later all right looking forward okay so here we also support a very uh a good feature function is this one is the resume plaque feature so you just directly uh, click this button so you can continue to watching your big your TV show, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so uh, besides we here we also will like introduce you is the you can filter uh, by the genre and the year and director and the caster. Uh, for example, this we I will I will, I will I will like to watch the drama. All right, mm -hmm. so you just choose the drama and you can see the drama we are showing here. So you can. Uh, directly to field out uh, what you want or what or which part you don't want all right yeah i suppose i like dramas because i have already seen game of thrones in that girls okay <laughs> <laughs> and in here we also support advanced search feature so you can see here we support lots of the criteria in here and you can set your criteria at the same time uh, you can set multi criteria at the same time Mm -hmm. uh to narrow down your searching uh, conditions all right here and you can see we have the color level rating here depend on your uh define and the watch all status in here you can see and uh, uh you also can have the tag in here for example i have added some tag in my video before mm -hmm. so you can see i can select existing tags 
So here is existing tag for the QNAP demo. I can search, it will show the QNAP demo video directly. So, so where, do you create where to create this? Yeah, yeah the here you can see. Uh, I do this again. In the information here, you click here, yeah, you can see the information in here, mm -hmm. and you can add a tag by you want. For example, here I can add whatever I want. For example, the, for the uh, video station live demo. And you just create it directly, all right? And you also can uh, rating it, this video, by your want. Or you can ch change the color, which one you want. For, them, for example, this is red color, so let's check it. So, okay, I clean all my criteria first, and I choose the red color. So you can search, okay, it's the display again. So the color, um, it's color is for the user. It's mean, uh, especially for some, uh, for some special video. Uh, if you want to, it's a, a kind of way to help you to sort out your uh, videos. So it's like categories using colors. Yes, yes. You you also can you you see yes. Uh, for example, it, for for the displays on the screen. Uh, no, 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 not display on the screen, just uh, display into the information. Well, it's okay. an easy way for sort out your videos. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, so uh, in here, I will also show you is the private uh, collection. Here, this is, you maybe use, uh, you can store some personal video in here and no one can watch it. And we also support a QSync feature service. And we also support the folder viewer here, and you can direct his browsing it. Okay, so this is our demo, and then let's switch uh, back to our slides. Okay. So, in order to have a good experience of watching your videos, you need a powerful video player. Yes, it is definitely a very important feature for our user. If you have a lot of video, However, you cannot play then. It's meaningless. Yes, and you feel upset. So let's check it. Yes. The first part in the video uh, player, video session player, I will show you what is our advantage bring for our user and why we video session can become a very powerful player. Okay, the first one I would like to introduce so, you is um, the before, player feature. Before that, so we supported multiple players or this is for our own player we invented the player of yeah we, we we support lots of player uh -huh. and the, this part i will show you is the video stations uh their own player oh, it's okay. own player okay and that's why i will show you uh with the qt help we also support another uh famous player like video issue and so on okay okay so the first one is uh in Video station, if you directly browsing or watching the video on a video station, uh, our video station have the built-in player. And this built-in player support some player feature, which is uh, convenient for user to watch it or upload it. For example, bookmark. we support a bookmark. Okay, so bookmark. I've heard of people making bookmarks on videos. Mm -hmm. This is so advanced, it's so new in, in what kind of situation you you mean you want to put the bookmark yes. in your videos uh -huh. maybe you are learning something and yes. you want to make some marks or maybe you're watching a movie and which is it's very hard touching yes and you want that's, to that's, learn that's, that's that's to show where i want to mark the bookmark uh -huh. if i listen to a, a very a wonderful song in the movie i want to um uh, mark it and uh, watch it after I watch the video or uh, watch the movie I want to uh, play, the play it again watch it again I will, will use a bookmark feature to yeah. mark this, the, the time and okay. maybe if you have child you can mark some inspiring moments oh yes it's, it's nice so we provide this feature for all the user firstly and we also su support the subtitle feature and I, I think this is for also very important yeah it is Express for the uh, subtitle in the same folder, uh, except, except, except for the subtitle you import 
from your computer or from your uh, you manually you manually import. We also support the online subtitle download in this feature. Okay, so you can just search for the subtitles in video station. Yes, so you can see we cooperate. We also cooperate with the subtitle online database company like Open Subtitle and Shooter.com. So with this feature, you can directly to search the subtitle according to your uh, video's titles. Okay, so right. you can directly download it. Because I and never know what. Um, where to download subtitles. Yes, yeah, so you, you don't need to uh, spend the time to look at it by yourself on the internet. Okay, so we just actually help you to uh, solve your concern. Okay, and we also support adding subtitle for MKB files. Yeah, so uh, special for, for some MKB files, uh, if you want to read in the, the embedded subtitle, it's mm -hmm. hard to, for some player they cannot support, but we just can support. And we also support address uh, subtitles, for example, the time shift, the fonts, the font size, character set, and text colors. So especially uh, when uh, when you watch the video uh, with uh, 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 elderly, other uh, other uh, people, uh -huh. uh, if they want to they want want to watch the bigger. Uh, the font text, size. the font, font size, mm -hmm. uh, you can change the setting from the here. Okay, cool. this is feature. And in here, in here, we also support the player setting. In here, we support two uh, player setting. One is called online streaming, and another one is called on the fly transcoding. So what's different between these two features? The first one, online streaming, is mean you this video can directly be played by the browser. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the good advantage is for this kind of the video, this kind of format video, you don't worry about your, when you play in video, your CPU will loading too heavy because you will attack any uh, cost of the, uh, the loading ever. Okay, you don't worry about that because you uh, put the video to the browser to play directly. And if you a video cannot be supported by a browser, you can use it on the fly transcoding feature. So on the fly transcoding is being or not uh, with the hardware transcoding feature to transcode your video firstly so the player can be played. Okay. So in this feature, we also support a, a several um, resolution for user to choose. Okay, so it can depend on your internet limitation. If you have a good internet bandwidth, you don't worry about that. You can use original on the fly transcoding to play. If you have unstable internet uh, environment, you can choose the lower uh, resolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you don't have to install anything. Right? Uh, yeah, you don't. You don't need it. Okay, we support online trans, uh, on the uh, fly transcoding, but it depends on the, your NAS model. If you use a high level model, the performance will work. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So the last feature we support is the play speed adjust. So you can play quickly or you can uh, uh, pack slowly, and you can uh, change the speed. So by it's, your ones. it's like YouTube, right? Yes. So when we are learning the moves, we can uh, play you can it play, slower. Yeah, you can play slower. And if you want to uh, watch quickly, you can play it quickly. Okay. Cool. Okay, so uh, before we talk about the uh, uh, player first, we here we also have, a, uh, I'm glad to introduce for our user is uh, QNAP player also support a 360 degree panorama video. And in, in the NAS uh, company, QNAP is the first one officially uh, to support this feature. And you can know we, uh, we have introduced this feature before. You know, now the market, the camera manufacturer is launched a lot of the 360 degree camera in the market now. That means a lot of user, more and more user, use the uh, 360 degree camera to, to record in their life, recording their memory with their family. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. 
So we are glad to hear to uh, talk to our user is if you store this kind of the video on our QNMNAS, we can support it and play it on our player. Okay, it's very cool. So we support a panoram panoramic mode in video station and even in our share link. So that just mean if you share this video to your friend, your friend also can experience the panorama mode. Cool. Okay. So you can see from the in, uh, user interface, Oh, you know, before we talk, this, uh, uh, talk about this feature is we have a manual uh, button. We have a button uh, allow user to manual to enable or dis disable. That is mean uh, because in some kind of situation, after you take in uh, from a 360 degree camera, uh, maybe the, the, photo, the video or photo didn't contain any 360 degree metadata. Mm -hmm. So for some uh, player, like for example, when you put the, this kind of video uh, show with share by a line or Facebook, uh, if the Facebook or line cannot detect the metadata, they cannot know this is a 360 degree video. So they cannot play with a 360 degree panorama mode. Mm -hmm. However, with this feature, you can directly to enable it. Yes, no matter your content, con your content uh, include the three hundred sixty degree metadata or not. Yeah. Okay, so it's a good feature for our user yeah. to to show it. Yes. And we also uh, support the three hundred sixty degree icon for user to remind user this video is three hundred sixty degree. Okay. And this picture reminds me of. Um, if you re use a 330 degree camera, you can do it with some moving moving creatures. Yes. With your dog and with your fish, maybe. Because it is so hard to track those moving things with a normal camera. Yes, and yes. QB helper is uh, coming to solve the two problems. Okay, the first one is for some specific uh, uh, formats, we cannot play on all NAS. So you can use QB help to solve this problem. And the second one is if you always running several applications at the same time on your NAS, uh, if you at if you, at this time if you also play the video, sometime maybe will invert your NAS performance. Mm -hmm. So you can use QB help to directly uh, play your video on your computer. So you can uh, load, uh, you can reduce the loading about your uh, CPU or GPU running on your NAS. So it's very good uh, utilities for user. And besides, is we uh, cooperate with a very famous player like VRC player. Mm -hmm. So the player performance is very wonderful for all kind of user when using this feature. So you can consider to use it. Okay, so after we introducing or how to flexible to customize your category, how to easier to find out your uh, file with advanced search and filter, and second part is we show how powerful QNAP uh, player is running compared with our competitor. The third part is very important is we fully compatible with all your media device. So that is mean, for example, if you have a smart TV on your home, you have Android TV box, you, you have Apple TV, you have a smartphone, smartphone, we also allow user to support this uh, and you can browse it on all of these devices. So let's see it. We can have support the video station, support the media device from, you can see we support the Q video on iOS, Android on smartphone. Uh, smartphone. We support HDMI, so all you, all competitors didn't support HDMI output, uh, and uh, with the HDMI output, we can uh, just plug in the HDMI cord and connect with the screens. Yes, and for some high quality, if you use the internet streaming, that's uh, unstable. Yeah. However, with the HDMI cable, it's we can make sure it's stable. yeah, it plays smoothly. And we also support our DLNA, Apple TV, and Chromecast. And we also have a special application designed for the Kodi. Mm -hmm. So we know because all, most of the 
last user would like using Kodi to be a Slayer player. So we designed an application called Video HD, compatible with Video Station, and you can install on the Kodi. It's a kind of add-on. So you can use it uh, with Kodi's uh, player back. Okay. And we also support the Q Media on Android TV and Apple TV. And that's why we support on a Roku uh, okay. okay, device. So here are several uh, media devices we support. Yes. So many. So in here, the first one I would like to introduce you is we allow users to watch their video library on the go. It's called Q Video. So Q Video, we support Android and iOS operation system firstly. And we feel compared with Video Station Media Library. That is mean the online data information about the video, about the movie and TV show, and the poster, the writing, director information, and so on. We also support it on it or Q Video. And we also sync all the video playback record. So it's very important is when you watching uh, your uh, TV show on your video station firstly and you have some uh, emergency uh, uh, thing you have to handle so you go abroad and you're taking the, uh, the bus on the bus you can open your Q video application and, and continue to watch it because we support this uh, sync uh, record uh, intuitive oh. And we also support 360 degree video playback and the virtual reality mode. Even on the smartphone? Yes, even on the smartphone. And we also support offline playback. For example, if you take, the, if you take a airplane, you don't have internet, so you can download the video firstly and you can offline watch it. You mean download it on our phone? Yes. And we also support resume playback. We also support play with other players such as MTOP player, VLC player, and Kodi. Mm -hmm. Last one is we support multi long streaming. It's, it's very important we, we are support multi long. So that means with the Q video, you can streaming, uh, you can think Q video is a central controller to yeah. control all of your uh, media device. So okay. you can stream on so many devices on the same, at the same time. Yes. So let's uh, transfer to the Q video demo. So this is our Android uh, Android smartphone. smartphone. Okay, here we can see our Q video. I have installed on it. Let's open it. Yes. And let's log in. So in the login, we support the user to add the NAS manually. And they also can uh, support the search the, uh, the same uh, internet uh, NAS. So mm -hmm. it can easier to find your NAS. But you don't need to check your IP address before you log in. Okay. So I have already set in it. So we log in directly. So you can see when we log in, you can see the architecture, the media library architecture is is same with the video station. So with this feature, you can see uh, all, cate all category you, you set on your video station will show on here. Okay. Okay. And in the movie, you can see we also support the online database information Okay, Ooh. and then in here we also see, uh, we also show a resume playback feature in here. Uh, introduction, this one. We also show the, uh, the information, online data information, and for the uh, poster show, post poster display, we also support this feature. And for the TV show, uh, you you can see it's also displayed by the season and episode. Okay, so wait. Okay, so you can see the season and episode is displayed. And uh, in here, we have a button. 
So you can resume playback uh, from the, the time where you leave, where you left last time. Uh, we can support a continue, continually playback feature. And besides, we also support uh, advanced search, which will allow you to set the multi uh, criteria on your smartphone to quickly to search out to search out the, the file you want you want to search. And besides, okay, so let's check the, the player feature. Pretty much everything on, on the phone yeah. is also on the computer. Yes, uh, in the Q video, the feature is almost the same on the uh, video station. The feature uh, only, uh, for example, only the, the, the download folder, the offline playback, is especially support for the Q video uh -huh. because Q video is when you, you can download it firstly and take it to oh. anywhere and watch it offline anytime you want. Okay, so in the player, uh, Q video player, you, you can see we also support the 360 degree video, uh, 360 degree video, uh, panorama, panorama mode in here. We also support the uh, setting, resolution setting, subtitle, and correct set setting here. And you also can search the subtitle online. Mm, it's a good feature in here. Okay, and you also can import in subtitle from your cell phone. So in here we also support the multi zone feature in here. Okay, you can directly stream this video to the Chromecast, Apple TV, and so on other device. And let's watch a three hundred degree video player. For example, this one is three hundred degree uh, video. Yes. Okay, can we change to the uh, horizontal? Okay. You can see. We are going to be in the full screen. Yes. Wait. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. 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 Okay, no. Okay. It is, and we enable the 360 degree feature. Wait a minute. Okay, it's running. We also compatible with a video station's feature. And besides, uh, we also support the, uh, the Apple TV. And the Apple TV we, we are redesigned now. So we will launch it as soon as possible. So there are four advantages for the Q Media Android TV. The, the first one is we uh, user only need to uh, download the one app and browse your video, music and photo on your NAS at the same time. So you need you don't need to uh, download three different applications. And the second feature is we also support a recent playback feature. The third part is we fully compatible with three stations. So we complete support for the film uh, categories, online database, photo, slideshow, music, playlist, and the other function. Uh, the most important is this design is uh, intuitive operation. So it's suitable for the, uh, any user for example, your kid or the, the elderly people, it's easy to control and use in this feature. Don't have to learn another thing. Yes. And the next one is we also support the video HD. QNAP Video HD is a free Kodi uh, suit add-on with the complete support for the video station feature. Uh, this one add-on. Uh, a, a good, the best benefit for the video HD is is compatible with the Kodi's playback feature. 
So you don't worry about uh, uh, if you have already used for for the uh, using the Kodi, you just add this add video HD add on and you can play it. Uh, the playback feature is powerful as same as the Kodi. Okay, so let's go to a demo. The different types of mouse are presented here. Yes. So the icons is come from. Okay, so you, you mean you, you, oh that's because I have a login in this full time. Uh -huh. So I will show the four different uh history in here. Okay. Okay. But so, how does it distinguish whether you are using the small icon or the big icon? You mean how how to I use Yeah, the picture they presented. Yes. It's different. You yeah. have the long one, long model and the short the small model. Oh yes, because this is two different models. So it does detect your model. Yeah, they, they detect. Uh -huh. So we can know uh, which model you have. And after you log in, we, we know this information and we'll show the picture here. Ooh, that is very cute. <laughs> yes. So after you log in, you can see in the left menu, we support the video station, photo station, and music station at the same, at the same application. So from the class, classification, you can see here, this is the category you have already uh, set in on your video station. We will display on here also. And we also support the movie and TV show information is clear to, oh, this is Chinese. I changed to the, uh, for example, uh, I check. For example, the TV show, you can see. Uh, we also provide online data bar, online data bar, online data information for user to watch it. Yes. All right, here. And uh, uh, we also support a recent playback feature here. And besides, we also support the filter feature for user to quickly to field out the uh, video they want to watch in on our um, Q Media application. And you will also support a voice search in here. So voice search will uh, detect after you are uh, reading, they can detect directly. Okay. So right now we are using a webcam to reflect the TV we are using. So it, it's a little blurred. Yes. Okay. So, and um, you can see uh, in here, we also have a, a share video and uh, we also support a photo view in here and the collection and in the player we we check this one we go to the player for example i demo your uh, video for example i demo this video you can see you want to resume playback because i have played it playback before so when i play okay in here, we also support the feature is, let's stop it. You can search the online subtitle from your subtitle setting, and you also can choose the, uh, for example, you want to choose the audio. If you like support different audio, we also support the feature here. Mm -hmm. And in the, uh, can remote to remote this one? Mm -hmm. No, 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 because uh, in the Android TV, they Android box, they have their own controller. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, fully compatible with the controllers. So the controller is very easy to use it. If you want to use Q remotes, you can, uh, uh, when you, because HD, station. HD station, because we also support HD station. So you can use a Q remote, right? I see. And uh, let's check. We also support the photo station. So let's, you can see, for example, I want to watch the photo in here. Okay, so you can directly with the same application, you can watch the video and watch the photo. And then besides, if you would like a log out first. Okay, so the log out first, do you have fault? They didn't support the search on the internet. Uh -huh. Yes. So you, if we saw this feature, you can maybe you need to spend time to find out the IP firstly because you don't know the UIP. If you you don't know, uh, if you didn't support this feature, you, you only can uh, install it before and use the history feature. Okay, but we cannot 
uh, QMedia support research on the internet. So you can directly know how many devices, how many NAS have uh, in your internet. And in their application, you can find they only, they only video, video architecture. They didn't support the photo and they also didn't support the, uh, the music. music. Yeah. So let's go into the, the player. You can find in the player. They, they also design for the, the, the TV's uh, display feature. However, in the, you can see in the setting, they don't have a support bookmark feature. Mm -hmm. Yes. However, they, they also support the uh, subtitle, impose, impose subtitle manually. However, they didn't support a bookmark uh, feature. Mm -hmm. And the video HD, you also can download it from our QNAP official website. And after you install it and log in, you can find this is very compatible with video station. Mm -hmm. And this feature is what I say is very good for the user is because it's fully compatible with the uh, Kodi's playback feature. So let's go, for example, the demo video. For example, I play this one. Oh, this is a DTS. Uh, audio codex. You can see, uh, in a playback feature, we not just play support for the bookmark. We also support for the subtitle in here, and we also keep the uh, video setting and the audio subtitle setting of the original Kodi player they provide. So. For the advanced user, if you want to do the more detailed setting, you want to adjust it, you can use this. Okay. So this, uh, we support our video HD on the Kodi and our competitor didn't support this feature. So it's mean, uh, for, especially for some user who is already familiar with the Kodi, mm -hmm. they can use this feature. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the slide. Should we go to the phone playing thing? Uh, again? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. Okay, it's, it's okay. Okay. Okay, so the, the last part for uh, the streaming Feature is we also support a multi zone streaming feature for our user. So we support a several network media device. Uh, if you have know this feature before, we have introduced a uh, application is called Cinema to Add. So Cinema to Add is a central controller uh, application to control the multi zone streaming. In video station, we also support a multi zone streaming. We support a DNA, Apple TV, Chromecast. Bluetooth and so on, up to the eight different network media device. So uh, we allow the user stream your video to several devices at the same time. It's very important. It means, uh, you know, in some of the use case, if your mother, your, if your wife want to watch the uh, Korea drama, mm -hmm. however your kid uh, want to watch the cartoon, Cartoons. You can stream in these two different media type to, to two different media device. Ooh. Okay. And we also support the operation for the user to control their multi zone streaming device. For example, the device, uh, such a play, post, stop, period, period, next song or shelf, repeat and environment control. Okay. So we go to the demo for the multi zone. Okay, so let's go here. You can see, <laughs> yes. Okay, if you want to use in the multi zone feature, you can see here is uh, we have we can change uh, direct choose from here, 
And for here, you can see we have also have an icon. It's called the multi zone icon. Mm -hmm. So the multi zone icon is when you directly drag the video to the list. For example, this one is TV's DNA. We can direct streaming. So mm -hmm. okay, overwrite. You can see you can see the TV uh, screen. It start to uh, play. So can we switch to the TV screen? We we can screen the uh, switch the TV screen. So you can see the TV is now it start to play now, and we go back to the computer. We also can stream in the same video to another one. For example, I want to stream to the Comcast with this video. Okay, so you can see now we stream to the two different device. Mm -hmm. So we change back, change to the Comcast. You can see now the different video is played on different device. Yeah. So uh, this is very good feature for user is if you have a, a multiple uh, network streaming device at your home with the video video station multi zone streaming feature, we allow user to uh, streaming at the same time and uh, control it at the same time. All right, and we go back to the uh, our website. And this is the this feature I plan to talk to our user. This this feature is uh designed for the QNAP and the QNAP lead for the NAS company. We firstly launched this feature we call the multi zone uh streaming. However, most of the uh our competitor they only can stream to the device at for one device for one content. At the same time, they cannot support the multi, uh, multi streaming feature. For example, we go to our competitor video station, a uh, Synage video station. You can see when we play a video, you can see they, their player here. For example, I stream to the Chromecaster. They use the original Chromecast player feature. However, when they stream to the player, They cannot stream in to another device because all the t all the user interface have been occupied for the for this streaming. If you want to stream in to another device, you have to close it and stream in to another device. However, the original one is disturbed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why QNAP multi no streaming is a winner than our competitor and more convenient for our user to uh, use it. Okay, so, so we consider it like people always find a fight for the controller because they want to watch different watch different channels. So yeah. in that way we won't have to fight over the controller. Yes. So we go back to the slides. Okay, so the last part is uh, we need to have a very convenient video sharing way uh, without any limitation, without what I say, the limitation. So with, uh, uh, if you want to create uh, your own personal media library, sharing is very important function for our user. Yeah. So for example, uh, before if you want to would like to share in a video, maybe you have encountered some problem. For example, your share link don't have a privacy setting, so you cannot uh, uh, to stop uh, specific people to watch it. Everyone can watch, can browse in your video. So you no, no that. privacy. Yes, and for some, for if you want to share with via some social media, they maybe have limit your file size or video yeah. duration limitation. That's true. Yes, it's inconvenience for user. And uh, uh, it if it takes you, a lot of time, when yes, you have to share it. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's not convenient to operate. So how can we solve this problem? Is QNAP creates your own video sharing page. Ooh. So compare with uh, our, our, our traditional sharing link, we create a sharing page which 
uh, without a file size and variant limitation, you can customize your sharing link uh, when, whenever you want and uh, to, uh, to everybody uh, to share this, all of this video to anyone you want. And we also support the password and we also support the, the timeout uh, function. You can set the time uh, when the share link will uh, fail. Okay. So you can set the due date. Due date, yeah. And we also can allow the user to share their video by email and social media websites. So you can just uh, simply to choose the video you want to share and drag and drop it to your sharing card. And you, then you can choose how to share this video. For example, you want to share it via email, we suppose. You want to share it via social media website, we also suppose. We support uh, Facebook, Weibo, Twitter, and so on. And we also support the video website upload. You can directly to upload your video to the video websites, for example, YouTube and Yoku. So you don't waste time to download, it, download, download it and upload it again. <laughs> okay. So let's go to demo. Okay, for example, I would like to share this video. You can see. You just click, uh, you just choose the video what you want to share in. And here I have a share function. And for example, I choose the email, you can see. We support email, social network, and share link. And you can small size uh, the share link card. So you can easier to uh, drag, and drop. drag and drop the video, video you want to share into the sharing list. Uh, oh. It's very easy. Okay, and you also can change the category. All right. And uh, after you choose it, you can choose how to uh, share it with your friend. For example, we support an email to share with you, my friend, and we support an expiration uh, setting, password setting, and we also support a social network setting, uh, like link. You can share the link to the Facebook, Twitter, Weibo, Google, Plug uh, with the link directly, and you also can upload a video to the YouTube and Yoku directly. Okay, it's good setting. And we also support a share link, but this is not a simple traditional share link. We have the share link is I show you. For example, I create a share link is called Bennett. Demo. Demo. Alright. So we create this one and you can see we have a lot of the share link. But if you are an end user, you don't worry about it. You just choose Smasher. Smasher can support you to uh, connect to the sharing patch. And another patch is for the, some uh, special uh, expert user. If you want to uh, reload in your internet bandwidth, you can have another choose. But for uh, our end user, you just choose Smasher. And past and when let's go cure. You can see we go to the micro cloud uh, website and then after you it connecting, you have your own sharing patch. Wow. Uh, so let's check it. Okay, so this band is demo size. So when you share this link with your friend, your friend will see this patch. So it's very clear and organized uh, world. So, and here your friend can play the video on the website directly and all they, we also support the download with the subtitle. Let's change English. You can download with subtitle or download the video directly and you also can play on the internet directly. Like this one. So it's very different uh, compared with our competitor. So let's check our competitor how to how to lay share their video. So for example, if I want to share this one, they need also need multi choice to share this one. 
and they have the customized validate period. We also support this feature. Yeah. However, they don't have password, mm -hmm. and they cannot share via email, via social media, or upload to the YouTube. YouTube. They don't support this feature. However, let's create. Okay, you can see they only have the share link. Okay, so let's go to the link. Let's see how different between these two. Oh, for example, this one. That's new. You can see this is their share link and less our share link. Yeah, it's a little different. Mm -hmm. And I choose a lot of share uh, video in the share link. But it's not easier apparently to know it. You have to click the list. It's shown on the list. Oh. However, that's why I say QNAP provide a personal customized sharing page for our user. It's a little different. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, the advantage of the sharing in the QNAP. Let's go back to the slide. Yes. Okay. So after we introducing the lots of the video station feature, and we would like to show you how advantage uh, between QNAP and our competitor Synology, how different between these two uh, video station player. You can see from the playback feature, we support a one click resume playback. They didn't support it, they need to manually, uh, manually find out the video first. We support a bookmark feature, they don't support it. We support the three six degree video playback and VR mode. They don't support it. Okay, so you can see from the playback feature, we win, and uh, we also in the video streaming we support the multi zone streaming. They only can stream one device at one time. So I think uh, most of most of the uh, player they only can support. Uh, stream for one device at one time. However, QNAP optimized this feature. We support the multi zone feature. So let's allow user streaming to a different device. And we also support a third part player for user to support a VLC player, part player, L, uh, L media player, and another uh, Synology didn't support this. We also support a video sharing. We can directly share and upload video Directly, directly to the social media website and the personal sharing website customized and lay only sharing. Uh, compare with Android TV advantage, uh, Q Media and the DS video, we support uh, multimedia files. Uh, we support three different multimedia files at the same time video, photo, music. They only support the video. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike subtitle search, both of us support this feature. Automatically apply subtitle, both of us support this. Oh, sorry, uh, they also support this. None. And uh, the recent playback, we support uh, um, only one click. Only one click, they have the manual to find out. Uh, in the bookmark, we have this feature, they don't have. On live film, database and the voice search, we both uh, support this. However, compared with all the features, we can know we support a more uh, feature compared with our competitor. So uh, I think as last one, uh, video station and Q video, uh, after we introduce a lot of feature for user with four step and four major feature. Uh, the first one is uh, flexible, uh, customized category, and the second one is powerful playback. The third one is we support a, a compatible with all your device. We support a multiple device, but however, our competitor, competitor didn't support a lot. The last one is we support the sharing uh, personal patch, sharing, customize your sharing patch. So I think Video station and video is your best choice to you to create your own personal media library. True. So that pretty much concludes all of the presentation today. Yes. Thank you, Bennett, for sharing such detailed presentation today. Yes. And we learned a lot about video station and Q 
QVideo, QMedia, and Video HD. So we also have a bunch of live streaming going on for this week. Tomorrow we will have a live streaming about network management and virtual switch. And the day after tomorrow, which is Thursday, we will have a live broadcasting with Bennett again. No, 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 no. it was another PM. Okay, another Claire. program manager. Yeah, another program manager, Claire. And we will cover Music Station and Q Music. So thank you guys today. We will see you next time. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Bye bye.